getting your system ready for the Windows 10 upgrade. My current system is fully updated and as you can see the Windows 10 upgrade has been reserved. But there are some housekeeping items that need to be attended to. The first thing I did was to create an image backup of my Windows 8.1. Although the upgrade should go smoothly, I've done it on some other computers, one never knows and it's always best to be prepared for the worst. To create an image backup you need an external hard drive and then you should be using the built-in function in Windows 8 to create a system image. If you have a problem finding that I have a video that will make creating a desktop shortcut to this function extremely easy and once set up creating that image backup becomes child's play. You'll find all the information on this YouTube channel. Oh yeah that's right it's my YouTube channel. If you did beta testing of Windows 10 or tried the pre-release and it was set up on a separate partition of your hard drive it's now time to get rid of that partition and recoup the space on that partition back to drive C so that it'll be available for Windows 10 when the conversion is made. To get to the quick access menu in Windows 8.1 simply click on the Windows key and the X key. Once that menu opens select disk management You'll now see all the partitions set up on your hard drive, including the one for Windows 10. Right click on that Windows 10 partition and from the pull down menu select delete volume. You'll get a warning that doing this will erase all the data on that partition. Select yes. You'll now notice that that volume became unallocated. It's now time to give this unallocated space back to drive C. To do that right click on your C partition and select extend from the drop down menu. Now that we've gotten rid of the Windows 10 preview partition let's reclaim that space. Right click on C and then select extend from the pull down menu. Once the extend volume wizard opens click on next You'll notice that the maximum amount is already pre-selected for you and there really is no reason to change that figure. Select next. This simply shows you a recap of what's going to happen. Simply click on finish. You'll now notice that the unallocated drive is gone and drive C has been increased by the amount of that unallocated drive. We are now ready to wait and update to Windows 10 as soon as it's your turn to update. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.